Um, but high school is cons is dropping way off. And while that is a scary and painful reality, I think it's one that we need to recognize is that we're going to have a significant issue at the high school level in future years. Yeah, Say that, that again. And we're that's gonna pretty have a, accurate. Good, being too low. Yeah, that's that, and that's a, pretty accurate because they're all the kids were all there in school when I counted for. Them. So I, that number's very accurate. Kids are going to move through. But okay, so what so you're is the about parameter, you're, parameter of saying? Yeah, what is the you're parameter you're, you're suggesting? Yeah. The, well, the, yeah, the other difficulty with the high school, if you were to go there, closing a high school of thirteen, fourteen hundred seats of capacity wipes out. Now you're at 98 percent. You keep in mind because of the size of the school, you know. So again, you could set the parameter if you're only looking five years out. If you're making decisions on 10 years because it does, it is projected to go down. Then you can make that decision. It's outside the parameter. But are you willing to make a decision now based on what a 10-year projection says? So, so th those things you got to keep all. Of them. Well, and then right, and I but I think that helps get to those parameters help get to the right answer. The right answer might be. We're not in a place right. to right. close anything else at this point, but I think if we right. set the parameters properly, and the, so if you have a system-wide utilization, target utilization that we're setting, but you also have a, um, a range at the elementary, middle, and high school range that you're willing to live with, if that range is 80, 85% to 95%, then you may look at some options and say, there's no way to close a high school and fit in those parameters, or there's no way to close a middle school and fit in those parameters, uh, right? So, I think those averages are gonna be so hard to use in any productive way because each incremental step is, is such a big one. <coughs> I'm not sure it's not gonna lead you down a path of things that maybe look good that really aren't good. I, I almost think you need to look school by school and really determine is this school in a situation where 10 more kids would help it or hurt it? You know, sort of a kind of a red or green for, for growth, a red or green for community growth. You know, if we said, well, we're actually kind of in an awkward size at this school and 10 less kids here w wouldn't impact it negatively. Um, and we also know this is a slow growth area. Maybe it becomes, I don't want to say a, a, a target, but it becomes a, you know, something that could really not be hurt and benefit, but I think you got to almost get down to that level. Otherwise, we could almost do the math this afternoon on what a high school. I also think that, you know, the difficulty of closing a high school yeah. was born out of, you know, having one too many, And but I, I would hope that we would do everything in our power never to do that again because I don't know how we'd afford another high school ever. I'm, I'm talking 30 years down the road with what the state requires and what it would cost to build a high school. But I, and, and I agree, Commissioner Howard. And I, while we may get a little bit below, was, uh, was it you, Mr. Kane, that just said, like, if we close the high school, we're going to be way over, too, and we're not going to have any room for growth. But I, but I mean, ultimately, we're, we've designated this to the committee. So right. I'm, I'm, right. I just... Are you suggesting a parameter around the high school specifically? Or I, I thought it made sense to say that each level, elementary, middle, and high school, that when you're done with the plan, that the target utilization for each level is to be in the 85 to 95% okay. range. Right. And whatever the options come up as a result of that. Right. right. Okay. 